In at four in weather alert, snow covers the by state, coming down pretty hard in some areas. Afton had reports of thunder snow. Parts of our area have several inches of snow on the ground, and that's making driving hazardous. Many streets are slick as snow falls faster than the plows can move it away. Thanks so much for being here at four. I'm Kay Quinn. And I'm Brent Solomon. We are expecting things to improve across the by state as those snow actually winds down. It's been rough for drivers, though, especially over the last few hours. We have weather first team coverage to keep you safe. Meteorologist Tracy Hinson is in St. Charles County on the roads, and Diamond Palmer is live in South St. Louis County. We'll get to them both in just a moment, but first, let's get over to Chief Meteorologist Scott Connell with a look at what's going on, Scott. Well, you know, we had that snow, even some rumbles of thunder around the St. Louis area and down to the south and southeast of St. Louis as well. One of our Facebook weather watchers, Dylan, down in Deloge, he caught the lightning bolt one of them as the heavier sleet was falling earlier this afternoon before changing over to some snow. Again, there was more of a sleet snow mix as you went southeast of St. Louis. This from just a few minutes ago from Cheryl Island Cottleville in St. Charles County, where the sun is now trying to make an appearance. We've got all the radars scanning the skies across the bi-state region and the back edge of the snow is now east and southeast of St. Louis. When you hear snow or hear thunder with the snow, it's just like a summertime thunder shower where you get a downpour, except when it's snow, that downpour comes quickly adds up. And we knew today around lunchtime into the early afternoon we were going to have some problems. But you see the back edge of that snow pushing to the east and southeast. You folks that are a little farther east and southeast, another half an inch to an inch. But that would be about it in terms of additional accumulation. Most of us have seen in the metro area anywhere between two and as much as six inches of snow. And again, it varies. If you heard thunder, you're probably on the higher end of that. We did have some reports out in parts of St. Charles County, Warren County, and even over towards Edwardsville of five to six inches. You can see the roads down in Farmington don't look too bad right now. Highlands Road has improved as well, and you're starting to see some melting across the region on the roads. Road crews will be able to catch up with this now. Ground temperatures were warm at the get go. So Brent, as we head through the evening hours, look for roads to improve and hopefully we dry out before temperatures get really cold later on this evening. Yeah, hopefully so. Thank you, Scott. We'll check back with you in a bit. Let's go ahead and head out to meteorologist Tracy Henson. She joins us live from Weldon Springs in St. Charles in the storm tracker for us. Hey there, Tracy. Hi, Brant. So we just crossed over from Weldon Spring into the Chesterfield Valley here over the bridge. There is a lot of snow on our on and off ramps as well as on our shoulders. As you can really see, they're piled up on the right hand side of the road. But for the most part, our road conditions have gotten much better. Now, certain areas did have a bit more snow, and this snowfall came down as a very wet and sticky snow. You can really see that as I show you some of the foliage alongside of the road here. A lot of that snow has stuck to the trees. It's actually kind of a pretty snow out there, blanketing our parking lots and our cooler areas. Plenty of rooftops as well out there. Uh, now, earlier on today, it did start off with the peak of the snow hitting around lunchtime. We were on the roads around that time and even before sunup in Eolia. And then we spent lunchtime driving around Interstate 70. When we hit Bridgeton, it wasn't too bad. Just icy and starting to accumulate by the time we made it to Wright City. It was a winter wonderland of accumulating snow. Now I did check in with MoDOT who said day crews will be on until 7 p.m. and switching over to night crews at that time as well. MoDOT is concerned about refreeze. IDOT told me they are less concerned. We're always concerned about it, but uh, the wind forecast suggests that it will have time for it to dry out. Plus, uh, once the snow drops, uh, the snow intensity drops, that is, uh, the pavement temperature should rebound above freezing. Now, Joe Monroe did tell me that he expects uh, conditions to still be all right and that they have uh, brought on more drivers to manage the evening commute over at uh, over in Illinois for IDOT. MoDOT sent me that statement at 12 p.m. with their shift change at 7. In the Weather Tracker, I'm Tracy Hinson, 5 on your side. Thank you, Tracy. And roads, as she's mentioned, continue to be a concern. The winter weather causing a major headache on I-70 right now. Here's a live look from the MoDOT camera in Wright City. You can see the westbound lanes closed due to an accident. That's creating, get this, a nearly 10-mile backup into Wentzville. 
No word on when the highway is expected to reopen. And many of you tell us you heard thunder along with that snow this afternoon. That includes in South County. Some of you in St. Francis County reported thunder sleet, as Scott mentioned earlier. And one viewer even sharing photos of a lightning bolt. Some viewers in the Metro East say they also heard thunder as snow fell in that area as well. And the Metro East also seeing a lot of snow. Here's a live look from Highland, Illinois. That's about 45 minutes east of downtown St. Louis. Like so many other areas, it's been snowing there since this morning. And here's what it looked like just a couple of miles south in Trenton, Illinois. Snow really accumulating there. Tammy Brandmeyer sent us these photos and said these two on the patio were taken 20 minutes apart, adding inches in just moments. Well, Diamond Palmer continues our team coverage for us from Big Ben at I-44 in South St. Louis County. Jo uh, Diamond, just hours ago, cars and semis were actually getting stuck in all of that snow. Brent, that's exactly right. Just a couple of hours ago, we saw semis and cars getting stuck in all this slushy, wet snow. We even saw many drivers pull into this quick trip and just pull over and wait out this snow. Obviously, we are right here in South County in Oakland, where we saw a completely different scene, and we want to show you some of that video of what we got earlier. Uh, this is actually near Kirkwood. We saw snow plows working to clear this snow off the road, but we also saw cars and drivers, of course, getting stuck coming up the hill on Big Ben Road. This is just right off of I-44, and if you know this area, it's not too far from the Sam's Club. Now, I did speak to drivers who pulled over, like I said, because of this weather, and also St. Louis County's Department of Transportation, and they say they have 115 snow plows on the road. Make sure that there's enough uh, space between you and the person in front of you, so if they, you know, slide, um, you're not sliding along with them. We got the salt down uh, on the entire system and uh, later or earlier this morning we were we were back out again uh, salting our major roads, uh, giving them an, a, a second coating. And again, here in South County, just a completely different scene from earlier today. As you can see behind me, traffic is flowing very well and even starting to melt some of that slushy wet snow. But if you are headed home from work or school, be mindful of the visibility on the highway with some of that wet snow being kicked up in front of your vehicle. Reporting live here in South County, Diamond Palmer, 5 on your side. Great reminders. Thank you, Diamond. The weather's caused a lot of businesses in our area to close. You can see those at the bottom of your screen and on KSDK.com and the Five on Your Side app. The St. Louis Zoo and the Gateway Arch closed early today. Several school districts dismissed early. And yes, some fish fries are canceled. Remember, 